Yeah, Tyler Holinsky was found to have CTE, and those who love him say hearing that helps them understand that he was dealing with things they couldn't see. But on the other hand, they say this diagnosis doesn't take away the pain of him being gone. Holinsky lobs it. It's been nearly six months since 21-year-old Tyler Holinsky, a quarterback at Washington State, took his own life. But those who watched him grow up here in Southern California still think of him often. You can't sleep through the night. There is at least three, four nights a week where I'll wake up and he'll be on my mind. Tyler's football career seemed to be on the rise, and everyone around him said he seemed to be happy. So the suicide shocked his family. Tyler never outwardly showed any signs of depression, never so showed any signs of trouble or, or concern. That's why the family agreed to let the Mayo Clinic study his brain. What they found, Tyler had stage one CTE, a condition that has been linked to football players, but usually not ones who are so young. The medical examiner said his brain looked like that of a 65 year old. That helps us bridge the gap from, you know, from from no way to what actually happened, but it didn't complete the picture at all. Tyler's high school coach admits he's been replaying former games in his mind, trying to see if he missed any signs. He played in some pretty tough games, and I never remember him taking helmet shots. You know, obviously he got tackled, got taken to the ground, and things like that. Tyler's family says they don't know if football is to blame for their son's CTE, but they started Holinsky's Hope, a nonprofit organization that they hope will make a difference by pushing for more mental health awareness for student athletes. We have a younger son that still plays football. We have an older one that did play it. We love the game um, and we want this to be a sustained effort to improve the lives of, of collegiate athletes. Now here at Upland High School, coaches say they have been changing the way they practice, the way they tackle, trying to make the game of football as safe as possible. But they admit there are just inherent risks in both football and other sports because they say there's still so much we don't understand about CTE. We'll send it back to you.